What is up, guys? Welcome to the 140th episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. We're going to hop on into this episode. I think today we're going to be laying down all our new paths, which I'm quite excited about. Hopefully you guys like them. I, uh, I'm i quite pumped to finally lay them down. Some custom paths here. Uh, I uh, I have the code somewhere. I, uh, I'll have the code in the description, I think. But I, I'm quite pumped, guys. I'm honestly very excited to be laying down some custom paths and kind of doing that. So we're gonna go do that for sure. Uh, have yourselves a wonderful Thursday, as I like to call it Friday Eve, a weekend so close. I can I didn't really, I, I freaking wasn't looking at this. I was, uh, I, I was looking at something else, but whatever. Um, all right, let's hop on in. Let's hope everyone likes the, uh, likes the new paths. I, I see a freaking ton of comments that I need to respond to on my... Gulliver! Horror! Oh, wait. This is going to be the uh, the pirate item. So, we helped Gulliver last episode, which they now switched items, to my understanding, to pirate items. So, I now have a pirate crown. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I wanted to relay all my paths to be this. I also have a... Uh, so I want to relay all my paths to be this. So that'll probably be most of this episode. The other thing I really want to do is... I don't know what else I want to do. I I think that's it for this episode. Oh, I want to start rebuilding these. Because I think I want everything to be kind of unison. I think this walkway, these walkways with these paths are going to be the move. So I think it's going to be a, uh, a dark... A dark... Uh, dark dirt... Then on top of the dark dirt will be our new paths, these paths. I think those are my favorite way to kind of lay them out. I like this especially because I think it's nice and it kind of goes into this. I feel like these rocks match this a lot. This, I think this is called a natural ramp. <gasps> no way! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Ah, we got another rock in our rock camp! I'm losing it! I'm losing it! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, this is. It won't even. None of you will even care. But this is gonna be my freaking. <laughs> Let's go! Ah! I've been doing this since episode eighty. Was it episode eighty? Holy crap! When was the first episode to this? Jeez, man, it was. Wait a second. I could tell you. Wait a minute. It was like. 80 or something. Day 80 was when I first started this. Well, was the first time a rock showed up. And today is day... Oh my god, what the heck? Go all the way to the front. Today is day 119. Took me 30 days to get a rock up here. Wow. Wow. I am hyped. Anyways, this is my favorite pattern. It's these with the dark. Uh, this is a custom pattern. And then we're going to run that across all the dark. Uh, the dark dirt. The dark dirt. And then we do that for this entire island, I think. And we're going to switch everything over to natural ramps. Uh, yeah, natural ramps. And we're going to switch everything over to uh, brick bridges. I think is going to be the plan. Even this area, I think I'm going to switch over to the natural ramps and the brick bridges. I think... Uh, I think that's the way to do it. I, I kind of want a unison on the island. Everything kind of be the same. This is going to be over a couple episodes. I don't think I'll do it all in one episode. Unless if you guys want to sit here and watch me pave dirt for episodes, man. That sounds like that sounds like the most unfun thing ever. But to be fair, I, you guys seem to like this series. I get some nice comments here and there about how much people enjoy it and how they're binging it. And that is kind of the reason I'm doing 365 days. Um... 365 days challenge, which I've been up in the air about continuing or not, to be honest with you. It's been something that I've been struggling with because at right now, there are... How many games are coming? There's three games I want to play that are coming out in the immediate future. Uh, Dark Hollow, Ooblets, which I actually uploaded today. Uh, for you, it'll be yesterday. And then Paper Mario. I know Paper Mario is going to be like a 40-episode series to finish that game. 
We then have Ooblets, which is going to be... Right now, it's early access, so it might only be 10, 20 episodes. But even so, that's still 10, 20 days of content. Uh, after that, Dark Hollow, which is going to be an early access game as well. So it'll be a game, probably 10 to 20 episodes as well. So it won't be that many episodes, but it'll be a nice chunk of episodes. Hold up, they're talking. I always like catching these conversations when I can. Buzz, is it true you have a great singing voice? I want to hear you sing. I don't know, kid. I only know the one song, and well, it's special to me. I don't want to just sing in it whenever you know. You know that old cowboy song? Occasionally, Cowboy Party. Uh, I heard Buzz can sing it real good. Can you help me convince him to sing it, Josh? Hold up, this could be adorable. Aw, oh, no need to butter my muffin, kiddo. I don't want to brag, but... Yeah, I do sing it well. Oop, hold up. Butter? Muffin? I didn't know you had muffins. <laughs> I want a muffin. Give me a muffin. Screenshot that. Muffins? What in tarnation do you... We were talking about a song. Now you're talking about muffins? You don't have muffins. Oh, sure. I'm so confused. That would be a conversation I'd have with with my friends. So, I, I feel that on a spiritual level, sure. He did say he had muffins. He said he was going to butter your muffin. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. That sounds a little actual. No, he, he said he was going to butter. Don't butter my muffins? Is that what he said? I can't remember what he said. Something about buttering muffins. So, maybe it was sexual in nature. If you have a dirty mind like me. Uh, it could have been. I... Uh, mm. I don't know, Spike. I don't know why Spike's even still on my island, to be honest with you. Nice guy, but does not belong here. Uh, I've been trying to get him the uh, the veto. Get him with the uh, the eviction notice, you know what I mean? Trying to get him to diddly daddle. Diddly daddle the way out of my island. Take the next plane to no man's land. Do the escape of dues. You know? <laughs> Anyways, getting back to what I was talking about, I have a lot of episodes I currently want to record, like just too many, which is going to be a huge issue because I don't like to blow up your subscription box, your subscription feed that much. A little bit is okay with me, but the amount I'd have to do just to like upload those episodes in a manner that I feel is appropriate, is going to be quite annoying to you guys for a few weeks. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with it though. We, we'll see how it goes. And that was why I was considering not doing 365 days or potentially just doing it offline because I don't mind signing on every day and spending 10, 10 minutes on the game saying hello to the neighbors. That type of stuff doesn't bother me. It's the recording and then the uploading, which I think might be kind of annoying to some of you guys. Uh, I'm assuming most of the people watching this current episode don't find it annoying, but people who might be watching my Sim series my Ooblet series, or the handful of subs I've gotten through State of Decay or Fallout 76, might be like, Josh, it's been a while. <laughs> Where you at? I'm like, oh, Animal Crossing has been called my name. I don't know what you want. Then I have to explain why I never finished my... Uh-oh. These are going to interfere with those flowers. Hold on there a second. Actually, it's going to interfere with a few locations. I didn't think this through. You know what, maybe I'll leave this as light dirt. I already paved this, this is fine with light dirt. We can leave this light dirt, that's fine. It will interfere with those flowers though. What's the plan, what's the plan, what's the plan? Ah, uh, hmm, man. I guess we could just do light dirt under the flowers instead of dark dirt. Switch up the dirt. That's fine. Yeah, that's just what we're going to have to do. It, it's it's just going to have to be done, man. I uh, I didn't think that all the way through. Sorry about that. Well, we'll just we'll deal with it as it comes along, man. So, yeah. So, these paths are with dark dirt. And then we switch over to the custom, which I will do in a minute. 
just so I can kind of show our plan for the island. Uh, we're going to switch over to the custom dirt, the custom paths, and switch that bad boy onto these. And then they layer on top of. So they're actually invisible to parts of the ground below. And that's why I have to like, put down this this base layer, you know? That maybe, like, when someone paints a canvas, like, white. And actually, I, I've been watching a lot of... I'm watching a lot of YouTubers that paint, and I never knew this was a thing, but I guess you're supposed to paint canvases white prior to painting on a canvas? And no one in high school ever told me this. Like, you're supposed to paint it with opaque white or something, and it's to make the colors stay better and also blend better. I'm not sure if this is only with oil paintings or acrylic as well, but anyways, every time I watch people, they do that. I'm always surprised. Oh. Oh my god, that was my dog in his... He just, like, yelped in his sleep. He's literally out cold kicking. Yelping his sleep. Hopefully he's not having a doggy nightmare. I feel really bad for my dog sometimes, because he, he moves a lot in his sleep. And uh, I actually asked my vet about it a while ago. Now I talk quieter, because I don't want to wake him. <laughs> I asked my vet about it a while ago. Like, oh, what do you... Like, my dog seems to, like, move and make a lot of noise in his sleep. Anything we should do about it? And she said, probably just having puppy dreams. I was like, oh, jeez. When he was a puppy man, he used to do like full kicking in his sleep. Like if you were, he, he likes to sleep in your bed. Uh, he'll, he'll snuggle right up, you know? And his favorite thing was to, uh, he'd kick you. He'd literally start like kicking like a racehorse, man. And uh, it was really annoying. Because he'd wake you he'd wake you up and he'd still be out cold. He'd kick you like right in the, right in the tuchus while you're trying to get a nice slumber. Reminds me of this. <laughs> You guys come for Animal Crossing, but do you just stay for the stories? I don't know. Maybe you do. Uh, when I was a kid, I, I, I was sleeping on the couch one day. And my dad's one of those... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'd call him an old school dad. He's a, he's a dad that likes a rough house, you know? He, we had... Uh, I have three brothers, so my house was a lot of rough housing growing up. You know, it was just a lot of messing around and pissing, aggravating each other. Uh... In every way possible, you know, we, it was, it was a pretty ruthless household, but it was, it was for the best, you know, it was just his way of assuming I'd like to, I like to think it was his way of showing the love. Anyways, uh, he used to rough house with all of us and I was asleep on the couch and he was rough housing with my youngest brother who at the time was maybe, I don't know, eight, I'm not sure how old he was, but I was out cold on the couch. I don't even know what started it. He was messing with each other. They were like rough housing. And then I guess somehow Ben, my youngest brother, flew through the air. Okay. Don't even know how. And his foot made contact with sleeping me's eye. So I just wake up and my eye is throbbing and Ben's like crying, running away. And I'm so flustered because I was out cold with absolutely nothing going on and then i get a uh, foot to the eye for a nice wake me up so i wake up i'm dropping f-bombs i'm like yo what the f happened here why did <laughs> what's going on i'm all flustered i don't feel good i was trying to sleep the worst way to wake up to be honest with you a foot to the eye and uh yeah so now instead of being woken up by a foot to the eye i just wake up by my dog kicking me uh swiftly with his sleeping, with his sleeping, uh, sleeping dreams, puppy dreams is what the, uh, what the vet called them. Puppy dreams, so. He is quite the baby, and now he's puppy dreaming across my office. He, he finds a lot of safety in my office for some reason. He, he has always found a lot of safety in my office. Now he sleeps here, if I'm ever recording like I am tonight, or like most nights whenever I'm recording and stuff. He'll take up the spot in my office and just out cold. I I feel like he never actually sleeps. You guys have dogs like this? I don't know if I don't know if normal dogs like this. He's an Australian Shepherd, so he's always on high alert. So like during the day, very few times do I ever catch him actually out cold like he is in my office. He's usually like half awake. You know, like if like if a mail truck pulled up or something, he'd come out of a dead slumber and chase that mail truck. But uh, the only time I see him get like real sleep is in my office. And to my understanding, it's because 
and this could just be hopeful thinking here, but he feels safe in my office because I'm here. I'm kind of watching him like, oh, no one's going to mess with you because because I'm here, you know, like I could do anything. But that's that's what I like. And then he stays up most of the night by staying half awake just in case something happens watching us. I, I was watching TikTok, TikTok, watching TikToks and they were supposedly saying that dogs, so he always, every time some, specifically me and my twin brother go to the bathroom, he sits outside the bathroom door. I I don't know if he'd ever come in, I've never offered, but he'll sit there and just wait till we're, like we're done. Then once we come out, he, uh, he walks away. To my understanding, I guess that's a habit. Now this could be made up because it was just from a TikTok. But uh, a lot of dogs do it, you know? Dogs, like, they just watch you in the bathroom or whatever or hang out outside your door as you shower or something. I don't know if that's weird or not. Maybe that's weird. Is that weird? No. I don't think it's weird because my dog does it. It's just something I accept. But maybe someone who is, like, a cat person is like, why the heck does your dog do that? Um, anyways, to my understanding, it's because they are watching you. When dogs are most, dogs are most vulnerable when they are using the bathroom. Um... So, when you're using the bathroom, they're trying to keep an eye out to make sure you're safe. So he sits outside the door as I use the bathroom and just waits there. And kind of sits there and doesn't let anyone come in and just watches, you know? And that could be all made up. That, that, well, my story isn't made up. My story about him sitting outside my bathroom. But the story of it actually being because dogs are not safe in the wild or something could be made up i don't know i never did any research more than just that few second TikTok that i watched so eh, could be made up oh by the way guys uh here's the code for anyone who can i get a code to this uh the code all right hold up let me let me see if i can see if i can find this code i haven't freaking looked up this code I, I typed in this code once the other day, so like three episodes ago. I really don't want to go back and go find it again, because it is a freaking pain in the half to find a code. Um, hmm. Okay, you guys might have to deal with no code. I feel really bad if I don't have the code, though. Uh, that's not it. Hmm. Stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I can't find it. It was on Google. I don't know, man. I, I wish I had the code for you. I I can't find it. And now I'm stressed. I can't find it. Sorry, guys. Go back. <laughs> I'd make you do it. Uh, go back to one of my last uh, two episodes ago was when I initially got this. So if that helps. Sorry, guys. I, I wanted to give you this code. Um no idea where it is i i just kind of snagged it and uh it's in one of my past episodes it's there it, it exists i promise it's just i don't know where it exists at you know what's weird so when you run across this it makes the same sound as grass no it doesn't wait it makes no sound so like dirt makes a sound you know? Wait. Oh, it's... What makes the... But this is rock. And this is like silent. Rock. Dirt. Wood. I kind of wish you could determine what sound you got. That should be something that they definitely do. Cause it's gonna be kind of sad running across this rock with not a, not a pitter patter or something. It's so simple, but I don't know. Will I notice it? Maybe I won't. I I don't listen to the game all that much. Like the game's like pretty quiet for me currently. I kind of listen to it on the uh, on the back end. Like it's not something I focus on whenever I record. I used to. I haven't done it in a little while. I used to watch like streams and stuff whenever I recorded.
Yeah, I'm mean, getting a lot of comments of people watching through my entire series. Now, do I sincerely believe anyone watched every episode from front to back? Eh, I don't think I'd buy it, but it'd be cool if someone did. But I don't think I'd buy it yet. I don't, what the frick is that? I don't think anyone's actually watched every episode front to back. Now, feel free to comment if I'm wrong and you actually have. But I truly don't believe anyone has. Now, sorry if you have. I don't know. I just think a hundred and... You, you have to be a dedicated viewer, man. A hundred and something episodes. Now, there's someone watching the... Ep <laughs> I can't deny it, though. There is some portion of you guys. Roughly 30 views every video. And I'm averaging around like 10 minutes of video. Which means you guys are watching the uh, the majority of the video. Or there's a, a lot of people watching the majority of the video. Because that includes people who just click on and click off. So a lot of you guys are watching the majority of the videos. Now, did someone watch every video front to back from the start? I don't know if I buy it. But if you did, you are a king dash queen and I love you very much. I was talking today, I just got to wrap up this episode, but I was talking today about how I hope one day people like look at me and feel like I can provide some sort of useful knowledge. And it would be so cool if one day some small YouTuber cared enough about my opinion to like request it. You know, I can remember when I first started streaming that streaming on twitch i didn't really do it for youtube youtube is just something i've been kind of figuring out as i go um probably not the best method the best method i think is to talk to uh talk to people who have done it recently so like you can't talk to someone a bad example here and uh you can't talk to someone like cutie pie and ask how do you get big on youtube today because he's been big for so long you have to talk to someone like i can't even think of an example right now from back in, from like within the last year who got big and that same goes the same for twitch so anyways when i first started streaming i used to go to twitch streamers and uh people i idolized so people whose content i thought would be the type of content i wanted and i started asking them hey how did you do it and i found the majority of time that the information didn't give me much but i'm hoping that one day I can provide info to a new YouTuber or a new streamer and uh, kind of be a little, little icon for him. I think that'd be really cool, man. I would love to do that. That'd be so cool. But I also don't think I have any, <laughs> I don't think currently I have any information that you guys would be all that surprised about. When I used to stream, my uh, my tip for everyone that streamed, it was the most simple tip ever. And for some reason, people didn't listen. Or new streamers don't listen to this tip. It's so easy. Uh, ready? Ready, guys? Consistency. It's so easy, man. I, uh, I got Twitch partnership because I did something consistent for a long time. Luck contributes to it as well. I don't think... Uh, I think anyone who says luck is not a factor is lying to you. Luck had a huge factor on me getting Twitch partnership. But the other thing that had a huge fast factor, uh, the biggest factor was consistency. I uh, become Twitch partnered. I streamed every single day for 365 days. Now I'm not telling you to do a year of daily streaming, but if you do ever want to create content, what I do tell you to do is be consistent about it. It could be once a week. Now, it would take you longer to become anything. But if you did it every week for a couple years, man, people will gravitate and start watching. And as long as it's quality to some extent, you have to be putting in some effort. My Twitch partnership was directly correlated to me being consistent and kind of putting in my all for a year. I actually can't believe I did that. And now I'm trying to do it for YouTube as well. We'll see. We'll see if it uh, if it accumulates to anything on YouTube. I'm trying to do a year of Animal Crossing. We'll see. It's kind of my own mental challenge. It helps me strive for something, strive for a goal, which I feel like I always need to do. I'm 
a person who always needs something outside of work and outside of school and outside of uh, just the usual to strive for and Sprocket's leaving my island guys and I'm gonna let him leave I'll see you Sprocket listen up Josh I feel really bad actually it pains me to say it bud but I've been thinking about leaving this island resort I haven't cleaned my place in forever it's a total mess and it's probably faster to move than tidy up I, uh, this is actually really sad because Sprocket was one of my first Islanders and I actually kind of like him. He would be the last of the Islanders that I want to leave to leave. Like he is on the bottom of the leave list. My my top would be like Gale. I have no love for Gale. Uh, Buzz, Spike. Uh, those are my tops. Sprocket would be my bottom, but I'm going to let him go. Well, your response makes me feel comfortable about my decision. But don't let up your training just because I'm leaving. Do some push-ups. Now. That's good news for us, though. That means the island hunting. Not tomorrow, but the following day, I think. No, tomorrow, right? I really don't know how it works. Island hunting tomorrow? Wow, that's really sad. I'm going to go talk to him tomorrow and cry. Whoa. I've actually never caught one. Cool. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.